All right, guys, so we're talking about the Cadex Baby Rattel 2 in this video. So it's been about a year since the Baby Rattel has been released, and so it's about time that they've updated it, and it's not a lot of changes. So in a nutshell, you have basically a smaller form factor here with a slightly smaller lens, still a, a nano-sized 14 millimeter mounting, and you have a, an aluminum alloy casing here for making the weight lighter. I'll show you the weight here in a second. And then you just have your connectors here on the back for your OST connector and your video. And you have a new lens. Um, and you have a sort of a sandwiched board design here to keep it nice and compact. So there's actually two sets of PCB boards. I believe the original Rattel, uh, Baby Rattel, is also the same way. They just kind of shrunk it down and made it a little bit more compact and reduced the weight. The firmware is tweaked a little bit as well and you're going to have to go back and compare the video from the original Baby Rattel to this one. I'll link that video down in the description if you want to see what the differences are but basically in my opinion it's um, the colors are a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more natural looking. It's not as washed out. Um, and overall, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good image. I mean, I like the original image of the Baby Rattel, and this one is just slightly improved. But the biggest difference here is the weight difference in the cameras. So the original Baby Rattel was around 4.5 grams. And now this camera here, I think it's coming in around, yeah, it's about 3 grams. It's a little over 3 grams. About, well, okay, in this case, 3 grams right on the nose. And uh, here's a look at the camera image, fairly wide field of view. It is in 4.3 mode, so it has all the same features, 4.3, 16.9 switchable, PAL, NTSC switchable, etc. I believe it's got the same voltage range as well. Um, but yeah, very wide field of view um, in the 4.3 mode. I think it's about the same. Uh, check the links down in the description. It'll probably have the actual specs. I've gotten this camera many months early. Uh, they were planning this release a long time ago, so the, f the specs weren't finalized at the time of the recording of this video, and um, you'll have to check the link down in the description if you want to know what the ex exact field of view is, but it does look about the same, maybe slightly bigger than the original uh, Baby Rattel. And then I'm just going to show you that the settings are basically the same, so you go in here, and I have the 4.3 mode turned on here, and NC, so it's NTC and PAL switchable. Um, and yeah, that's yeah. You know, the menu is the same as well. It looks like there's not really hardly any differences here in terms of the. I think here it's the image settings here. Everything's on auto. I uh, the the footage you're seeing is exactly the way they sent it to me from the factory. I have not tweaked it or changed any of the settings whatsoever. So I'm assuming that the factory settings are probably going to be the same. Can't guarantee that because sometimes they change things before or after I get them. Um, but yeah, what I'm showing you is what I have. So let's get right that, you know, get right into the footage. I'll show you the you know, typical uh, flight at the park. And you can compare this footage with the footage from the original um, original Baby Rattel. And you know, let me know what you guys think. I think the biggest advantage here is the pretty significant weight reduction from 4.5 grams to 3 grams. That's, you know, it's a 33% weight reduction. So that's pretty huge. Obviously, this is, you know, targeting those that, those guys that are, you know, um, putting these things into, like, tiny whoops, you know, uh, toothpicks, things that are very weight sensitive for performance. And so if you're looking for the best possible image in, say, like a tiny whoop for your tiny, tiny whoop races, three grams might be pushing it in terms of the weight that's probably, I would say you'd really want to have the excellent image to, to put this into a tiny whoop. I think this is probably more appropriate for like a three inch toothpick if you're trying to get that weight reduction and, and maximize your performance. Then you probably want to check out this camera if you're looking for the best possible image at the uh, lowest possible weight. I think this is probably going to be one of the cameras you're going to want to take a look at and seriously consider. Anyway, here's the footage and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.